All right, man, let's get it. My guy, my bro, my my former sugar brother. What's going on, Brett Stretch? What's up, man? Oh, not much. Same old, same old. Well, hey, listen, man. I've I, I been I've been peeping you out. Me and you've been me and you've been uh, online friends for uh, for for a good minute, man. And um, and and I I see you a you a, a Cedar Point aficionado, man. Like you trying to hit Cedar Point every freaking weekend. What's the deal, yo? We you're not hitting all the rides on the same day. What's up? Oh, I hit all right every time I go. Man, I, I man, I, I wish, I, I, I wish I can, I, I wish I can, uh, I, I wish I can bring it back because I, I used to hit, I used to hit Cedar Point with my family every year before my son came. It was, uh, it was me and my ex-wife. You know, we used to hit Cedar Point like every year. Like clockwork, bro. I, I kid you not. We we would do Cedar Point like 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 nothing to it. We we would take, you know, she will she was working for companies that we can get like Cedar Point discounts and all like that. Uh-huh. So, you know, so we was able to get like instead of paying like I think it was like sixty dollars at the time, our discount was like twenty five, bro. We would get in there. We would get in there in the morning, and we would stay like till the wee hours of the night, man. That's that's how it went down. Then after my son came, uh, I say when my son turned, I say when he was like maybe nine, nine ish, where he could actually get on some rides. We started including him, and we it's like every it's like every year, like clockwork, bro. We got. We got a picture, like you know how we take pictures when you come into the park. We will take, we will take pictures. Yeah. We will take pictures every year, and we actually got it like lined up, like two thousand and eight, two thousand and nine, two thousand and ten. Man, it's I mean now, shit. Now I can't. Well, now when I do go to see the point, I I can't do all the rides like I used to, man. So what's up with you, man? Talk to me. What you been into, bro? I can't I can't hear you. Talk into the mic. Uh, I can hear you better now. Okay, you good, you good. All right. What you what you been into now? Uh besides Cedar Point, just uh towing uh towing big rigs. Okay, okay. So we're gonna we're gonna jump into that for a little bit, man. So Brett, since uh since what since Schwugel, you you've been to a couple of companies, uh, one of which was correct. One of which was Frey and Schilling. I, I believe that was the the last company that yeah. you was that you was with before you went into towing. Um, what? what yeah, it was, what, I was there about it. I was there for a year, a little over a year. What What was your experience with them? Because I'm getting a lot of you know I'm getting a lot of feedback from that Frey and Schilling call I did. Uh, overall, they're a great company. I, I have no complaints. I left on good terms. Uh, I'm able to go back. They didn't want me to come back, but I just don't want to go back. And the only reason why, because I'm home every day versus home once a week. So so you was doing regional with Free and Shilly? Yeah, yeah. They, they all, they're, you could stay out longer if you wanted. You, every one of the drivers has the opportunity to be home, uh, weekly or and sometimes two, three times, uh, it's a little past through the house and you can go home for a night if you wanted to. Now, what, a, what about this, uh, uh, about this equipment? Because one of the comments says that the equipment is kind of shitty. They, they have like one fuel tank and they, they don't have, they don't have a passenger seat in their, in their equipment. What's up with that? That is correct. Uh, it's a it's a smaller truck. Yes, they have they don't have passenger seats, so you can put like a refrigerator or stuff right there. They will put a passenger seat in there if you request it. Um, the one they do have one fuel tank. 
Jeez. But how how many miles to the gallon they, you get they, on they, that, they, bro? Uh, you 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 have to fill up at least, at least once a day, or you're running out. <laughs> Jeez. All right, so you uh, so you 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 felt that uh, the company is a good company at least for you at that time, but you you just pretty yes. much left because you wanted to be home more. Yes, and I I did tell before uh, a different company uh, and everything wasn't making money, and then where I'm at now, they're they're hiring them or actually still hiring, um, and they uh, offer me a. Uh, Amount of money that I was happy with, so I came off the road and started doing it. So you got so now you got into towing, uh, bro. I, I I I always said that I was, you know, I was in roadside before I even got into uh, before I even got into uh, trucking, and I always said that, you know, if I was to leave trucking, I would go back and start a a a. A, a towing business i think it's I, I think the towing business is lucrative i mean i to be honest i'm i think i'm in the wrong field bro because the, the them big reds when you be towing them you you can amass about at least a good 1500 a whop man oh yeah 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 and honestly, and honestly all i'm going to say is i make more money now than i did when i was over the road Jesus. See, now see there, people, that, that while y'all over here banging your heads up against the wall on what uh what trucking company to go to, here's a young man that been in a business and chose to get into a towing company that that makes if not the same, maybe more than uh than that. That gives you more opportunities to uh to 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 do that to just just trucking, right? But you you still need your well to drive the the wrecker truck for the for the for the tractor trailers. Yeah, you, you still need your class A, right? Yeah. Yes. You still need class A. You don't uh you don't have to have your hazmat tanker doubles triples, but I do tow them and everything. There's loopholes and like that. You don't have to worry about hours of service. Anything that the only time we have to worry about hours of service is if we're leaving the state of Ohio. Okay, okay. So if you go out to like PA or something like, have you have you left the state or have everything you've done has been in state? Oh yeah, I, I've been to Wisconsin, Texas, uh, Pennsylvania. I was just in Pennsylvania yesterday. Bro, wait. You say wait. Hold up. Stop. Texas, as in Texas down south, Texas. Yeah, so there, uh, one more uh, high paying customer paid us to drive down to Texas empty uh, to pick up a brand new truck to bring back up here to Ohio. The tow, the the tow that y'all y'all took a tow truck, well y'all took a wrecker down there and then yeah. hooked up to it and brought it all the way back up to Ohio. Correct. Bro, what you what was the lick on that? If 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 you if if you know, do you know the do you know how much you guys uh, got for that I, or no? I don't know that part, but I know what I made out of it. <laughs> Jesus, bro! How long you been? How long you been driving for this truck truck company? Uh, since uh, roughly October. October of last year. Yeah. Okay, and this and is. I mean, I, 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 I'm driving a 50 ton wrecker now. Did you have to try now before you even got into uh, towing? Because you was in towing prior to what you got into. Did you what what type of training that you had to go through in order to to learn? It was all to, the all all the training I was dealt with besides the class I went to about a couple months about a month ago uh, was all. The company trained me how to do everything, how to hook up and everything. And, uh, that was the only training, but I did go through it. It's a recovery class uh, couple, down in Columbus a couple weeks ago, and now I'm uh, certified for light duty, medium duty, and heavy duty towing. Now, so, bro, so now you certified, man. So that's that's even that's yeah. even that's even more money, right? Yes, uh, me and my, me and the owner slash boss, 
just had that conversation today, and he goes, I just passed my certification on Sunday and everything, so he's going to be paying me more per hour. Man, you what what made you get into towing in the first place? Um, I've always wanted to do it, and especially the company I'm at. Ever since I was a kid, and because it's close to my house, I've always wanted to work there, and got the opportunity, and I ran with it. So, if any other trucking company offer you anything, you you you're pretty good where you at. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, what I make and with being home every day, there's no comparison. Wow! Plus, you don't. Have my, to, that's, well, my per, that's my that's my my personal opinion. Well, before uh, I, before you was in trucking, you had to be regulated with all the rules and regulations that comes with trucking, and you already said that you guys don't have to worry about uh about uh HOS because you're you're in state but what about all of the other uh rules and regulations that come comes with trucking are you guys are you guys uh duty bound to that or no yeah yeah we all truck still have to have we still have a dot number we still gotta follow the annual dot on all our vehicles uh we still have to carry the medical card we're still subject to all the drug testing, random drug testing, all that. Wait, even in even even in big red towing like that, you gotta have you gotta have a met the DLT medical card. Yep, because it's a uh, because the medical card is part of the CDO in a in a fine line kind of way. If that makes sense. Now for the rec for the big rig wreckers, as I said before, you had to have your class A to to drive them. But for the regular for the regular auto wreckers, you don't, right? Yeah, yeah. You just have to have a regular class C license. Oh, they still require the class B yeah. license to, to, to drive the auto no, wreck? No, I mean, no, 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 the class D or like your regular auto. Oh, your regular like license. Car license. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so we e can even though even though they are they are equipped with air brakes. Okay, but we could still use our regular license to 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 tow cars and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, you don't need no medical card or anything like that. But so per company, it depends on the company. You may be required to uh, go through the random drug testing, which that's common, really. Now, Brett, man, I I don't know if I, I I I may not I may not be I may not be certified in um uh, in in driving the big red wrecker. I can't I can't drive you know the auto wreckers and the flatbeds and all like that, man. But, bro, I'm I'm pretty sweet with the lockouts, man. I I don't know if you can I don't know if you can mess with me with the lockouts, bro. What, what about yourself? Have have you uh have you have, I, have they trained you or have I, they have you uh did some lockouts? I just got I just got trained not that long ago, and uh and everything. I've actually only done one lockout, so what, I'm not very good at lockouts. What what which one you did? Was it on a car or a truck? It was on a uh, international truck. All right, now internationals. Now some of them, depending on the years, uh, they got the pop up, the the pull up lock. Which one did you? Oh, have? It was pretty. It, it had power lock, so I just hit the power lock button. Oh, okay. See, you 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 went in with the long reach too, man. It, 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 Trump, when talk talk to me. When you can get up under the window, turn it around, grab the lock, and then pull it up that way. Talk to me when you can do that. Well, that's what, that, no, that's what I did. I went under the window and pressed the uh, power lock button. Okay, 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 okay. So you there. So you up, so you didn't do, you didn't use the long reach tool. You used the up, the up and under tool. Yeah. Yep. Okay, bro. Okay, you there. Okay, you you there, my 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 brother from another mother. There you go. That's what's up. All right, Brett, man. Thanks for thanks for a lot, man, for coming in and checking back in with me, man, as we always do. Uh, one of these days we're gonna run into each other at Cedar Point, bro. For real, for real. Uh, 
Hey, I'll be up there this weekend. <laughs> All right, my bro. You take it easy, man. Stay safe out there. And I, I know it's kind of what I, before I leave, man, tell me which what, what was one of your dangerous uh tolls that you had to do. See, you're probably familiar with Route 18 and 77 right there. As there always. 77. Uh, well, there's a truck broke down there. People want to get over it, including a police officer. I won't mention the township or anything. Uh, want to get over. I pretty much had a mirror hit me in the shoulder. Wow. That's crazy, man. So, I'm all for the move over, slow down and move over. Because if you can get over, get over. That's what's we up, We all have man. a family to get home to. That's what's up, man. All right, Brett Stretch in the building, former JNR Frugal. Trust me, we don't miss them at all. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> they uh, they they modernized. Uh, I can tell you one thing, though. They modernized everything, and they went up on their uh, – on their uh, – on their uh, CPM, man, they they offering about close to seventy cent a mile. What you think about that shit? Yeah, I heard about that, and I heard I also heard that they're uh, going back to uh, getting more manual shift transmission. Crazy, right? <laughs> After we leave, yeah. Good. Honestly, <laughs> I, I would not go back to driving automatic. <laughs> That's what's up, man. That's what's up. All right, Brett Stretch, man. Thanks a lot, bro. I do appreciate it. Thank you very much, man. You stay safe. As you guys know, the best conversation starts here on the Lockout Men podcast show with my guy, Brett Stretch, in the building, Cedar Point aficionado. That's what's up. Hey, we we, we going to get old, man. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You guys want to come on and chop it up with me? Hit that number. That's 216-600-2090. And we can get it in and we can chop it up as always. Thank you very much for listening. I really do appreciate it. You guys come back soon for another one. And uh, that's about it.